Welcome to our presentation on what is genre. Genre is a particular type or category of literature or art. Categories for genre are created by style, content, and form of the literature. An example of genre would be fiction. A subgenre of fiction would be romance. So for our classroom purposes, we're going to talk about genre in a couple of different ways. The first one, we're going to focus on uh, big genres in writing. Uh, and three of the biggest types of genre we have in writing are fiction, nonfiction, and poetry. Within those three big genres, we have subgenres. Some of these subgenres you may be familiar with, such as in poetry, we have haiku and free verse, to name a few. Nonfiction, we have essay, biography, autobiography, etc. And fiction subgenres include science fiction, action and adventure, and romance. Now, obviously, there are more subgenres, but I'm just keeping the examples simple for today. Our focus for this classroom will be on nonfiction, especially with this writer's notebook. Uh, however, when I say academic writing, as you can see there in parentheses, I'm also including descriptive writing and poetry, which are part of the academic scope of writing, but they're not necessarily always nonfiction. Here is a couple of the categories of academic writing that we'll be focusing on now. Um, we have descriptive writing, persuasive writing, expository writing, and journals and letters. Descriptive writing is when we use our sensory details, such as touch, smell, sight, etc., uh, and, and we start to form observations. And with those observations, we start to get really rich and powerful text because we're using our details. Uh, so this is where metaphor and simile become very important. Persuasive writing is when we start to try and convince somebody to believe what we are arguing. Uh, in persuasive writing, we have a particular side that we want to get people to join us on. And so we use our facts and in some degrees we use bias uh, and try to get somebody to, to see it our way. Expository writing uh, is when we use objective and straightforward facts. Uh, expository writing is, is common in reports, like a book report. You're just going to tell us what you read and, uh, and you're not really going to give too much opinion. Um, we use it a lot for comparison and contrast as well, but you're not going to pick a side like you would in persuasive writing. Then we have journals and letters. Uh, letters are written to a specific audience. Uh, they can be personal, they can be business related, they can be um, not necessarily formal all the time. They can be informal. And journals are the same way. We, we usually tend to keep journals uh, for informal purposes uh, for ourselves. And we'll talk more about those later. The last two uh, categories of academic writing that we'll be focusing on are narrative writing and poetry. Narrative writing is where we get to use I and we get to retell our stories and events um, that are from our own personal experiences. And then poetry writing, again, is, is where we focus on stylistic forms. Uh, we use descriptive language to try and paint pictures. Rhythm and rhyme are all important uh, to poetry as well. Okay, your homework today is on the handout that I gave you. Uh, for English 1, you will be filling out the chart. And for English 2, we will be using Google Docs to kind of expand upon this and add more detail. So if you are finished with the video at this point, uh, please go ahead and take your headphones out and return your attention to the front of the class and wait for further instruction. Thank you.